Hi everyone, this is Erin from Sandpaper Road and in this video I'm going to show you how to embellish one of your blank mini album pages using a vertical belly band. You can do this on any one of the pages of the base mini album that we made earlier and if you missed that video I will link up in the corner so you can check that out and get to this stage. <laughs> Let me show you what we're going for here. A vertical belly band is just a strip of paper glued right here, a strip of cardstock glued right on the edges uh, that you can slide in some sort of decorative element behind it. The belly band, uh, you've probably seen the horizontal belly band also. It is probably one of the easiest uh, elements that you can do on a page and you can do it on any part of a page. So for example, if you've already done a single pocket, you could include a belly band in the front and slide something in the front. So this is a really nice sort of um, easy way to begin if you're a beginner or to add extra embellishments if you're sort of a seasoned mini album maker. But we're gonna start with one of your blank pages. I'm gonna put this on the back of my single pocket page. And you're gonna need a piece of cardstock that is two and a quarter by six and three quarters. And that is actually going to fit right here. We're going to add glue or tape to two of the, to two of the small sides and we're going to glue it down. That is all there is to it. But I will say that because we're doing this whole album sort of um, you know, in the video series as we go. I'm going to add the decorative paper in this video. Um, my album pages are six and three quarters this way. So in my original Try It Out album, I was trying to use a six by six paper pad and it didn't quite fit. So I had to add little decorative strips to the top and the bottom just to make it fit. And that looks fine. The dimensions for this little card that I made, um, we're also gonna do today as well. And that is a four and a half by four and a half square that you can add decorative paper to one side, leave the other side blank so that the recipient or you yourself can add a picture. And um, let's just get started uh, embellishing. This is gonna be a really quick video because this is a really simple, um, Page. I'm going to add my decorative paper to the whole page first. That's going to make my life really easy. And I thought I'd use this beautiful lace paper. I'm making a um, neutral mini album. And all of the paper that I'm using is coming from the Gray Mood Paper Collection by Craft O'Clock, just in case any of you were wondering. And yes, there are links in the description box and up here if you're interested. But that's not what this is about necessarily. This is about constructing the mini album page and I chose neutral so that um, the paper itself wouldn't be a distraction to you and then you could use paper that you had on hand already. As you can see, I really didn't do any measuring. I just eyeballed that to the point where I'm gonna have to erase that <laughs> little mark. Okay, so now this will fit nicely right over here, like so. Just leaving a little bit of a, maybe a quarter inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, um, all the way around. This. Just this. I'm trying this new glue. I've been saying that all through the playlist. because I'm just not sure about it just yet. I don't know how long it takes you to use a glue. Um, I'm interested in to what all of you like to use in terms of liquid glue. Uh, do I want this like this? Uh, no, I want it like this. I uh, have used many varieties of liquid glue. The, uh, the only one that is uh, popular right now that I've seen and I have not yet tried is the Barely 
that bear glue, that barely art glue. Yeah, I have not tried that yet. But the art glitter glue I've tried, and I love the the Nuvo. That's been my go-to for years. And I love the Tombow Mono with the green cap. Mm, mm, mm. I love the Nuvo. Yeah, and then the art glitter glue. Those are about my favorites. Okay, so this will go right on top like this. Now, um, I know I got sidetracked talking about glue. But I want to say that you can glue it down and then cover it or cover it and then glue it down. Also, uh, because this is a belly band, we're going to put it in the middle. You can, I've done it before where it's more like a pocket, like a side pocket, and you put stuff on the side. Um, so the dimensions would be the same. I, actually, I've done that quite often as I've turned this into a pocket. And then um, you just slide, you know, just like fun stuff on the side and it just tucks right there. Like a tuck spot, I guess, is what it would be more, more classified as, more like a tuck spot. So the nice thing about using um, double-sided nice quality paper is that you can do one side, like especially like this belly band thing, you can do, uh, you know, one side of the paper for one part and then the other side for the other part. It's kind of nice. All right. Yeah, this is pretty easy. Um, we're making a, a, a beginner album. And um, if you're quite seasoned at mini albums, don't hate. Don't hate on the beginner videos because... <laughs> So we all learn somehow, and probably most of us either have been making mini albums since the beginning of time, or you're like me where you came out of traditional scrapbooking and you still do traditional scrapbooking and sort of had to weed through all the professionally made videos to try to learn yourself. And I thought to myself, ah, I don't want it to be that difficult. So that's why I wanted to just make a little beginner series, you know. Let's let, let's let our folks catch up. Let's let our folks just make some, it's so fun. Once you make a couple that are like this size and maybe this basic, then you can start to be like, oh wow, I could do this. Or, oh wow, I could do this. Or you watch some of those other videos that are really, you know, incredibly detailed and you're like, oh, that's just a belly band over here. Or that's just a pocket page this or that's just a you know because you've got that foundation so I really just wanted to provide some foundation that's all so don't hate if this isn't your cup of tea just pass it to someone who you think might like it see that is absolutely gorgeous now you can do tape or you can do uh, glue on two short sides just like this You can do the liquid glue if you choose. I should have another little piece right there just to go to the edge. All right. Lovely, lovely. Very nice, that looks lovely. Okay. Then for our uh, four and a half by four and a half, we've got this little card that will slide behind it and we'll add a piece of pattern paper to one side and then the person can put a four by four picture on either side or on both sides. That's always nice. I did want to mention if you've been crafting for a while, you might have a corner rounder. Sometimes the corner rounder is kind of nice. Um, on the little embellishment cards that go inside. So don't forget about those supplies that you've had for a while sometimes to pull those out it just makes a nice little touch 
okay? Yeah, we're coming right along. Definitely check out all the other videos in the playlist. By the end of the playlist, you'll have a mini album that's all, all made. It's all made and done, and you can use whatever paper collection you already have. Uh, we're almost there, actually. Plus, the playlist will also include a few more that you could mix and match in case you didn't like the simplicity or the complexity of any one of the particular pages. So, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.